This is Joseph Kony. Take a good look at him. He is the world's worst and the world's first international war criminal. Why is he the first? Because of this building. It's called the International Criminal Court. It's a new building, it's a new idea, filled with people like this. White wigs, really smart, have a love for justice around the world. And they're saying, we're gonna look around the world, we're gonna look at data and stories and conflict zones and only go after the worst. Individuals who are committing massive crimes against humanity or genocide. And we're gonna bring them to the International Criminal Court for trial. This is a new idea, brand new. Now, the reason why he's the worst is because he takes young boys and forces them to be child soldiers. He takes young girls and he forces them to be sex slaves at the ages of 9, 10, 11 years old. He forces these children to cut people's faces, to cut their ears, nose, lips off. He sometimes forces them to eat people. This is Joseph Coney, and he's been doing it for 26 years. He is the first indicted war criminal from the International Criminal Court in 2005. He's continued to do what he's doing after his indictment for six years. These are my friends, Laren, Bobby, and myself. Eight years ago, we went and we discovered this war through the eyes of this boy, Jacob, and this boy, Tony, who became our friends. They told us through tears that they witnessed their brother dying, and we made a sacred promise to them. We said to Jacob, we will do everything in our power to stop this war, to stop Joseph Coney. That was eight years ago. We have a friendship that crosses borders. They come to us and visit America. We go to Uganda and visit them. We are on Facebook. We talk all the time. Jacob is becoming a lawyer today. He is amazing. So we made this movie and we toured it throughout the world. We go to high schools, colleges, engage millions of young people to get involved. Our first event was called the Global Night Commute in 2006, where 80,000 people slept in the streets and protested, saying, we want an international solution to Joseph Kony. And this led to the LRA camp, where Bobby, Lara, and myself went numerous times to visit Joseph Kony and the Lord's Resistance Army, his rebel army made up of abducted child soldiers. We were hoping for peace, a peace talk, a solution, that Joseph Kony would come out of the bush, shake hands, put down arms, and have amnesty and forgiveness. After two years trying for peace, he never showed up to the peace talk, and we left in a helicopter devastated. Six months later, he decided to kill and mutilate 600 people in a church on Christmas Eve. This led us back into the streets where we said, no, we will not take it. The world needs to wake up. In a six-day event that culminated in Chicago, we ended up surrounding Oprah Winfrey's studio. And she decided to walk out the front door and say, hi. An hour later, we were live on her show to millions of people around the world. This forced Congress to do something about it. We had the largest lobby day event for an African issue in the history of the United States. Thousands of people came, young people, millennials, believing in this bill, a bill that said the Obama administration will remove Joseph Kony from the battlefield. The bill went into his office, he signed it into law, and I'm telling you that a month ago, on October 12th, 100 advisory troops went to Central Africa to work with regional forces to remove Joseph Kony from the battlefield. This is the world in our grasp. This is what millennials are doing. And next year is our biggest year ever. It's called Coney 2012. We will be running along with the presidential debates, the presidential run for the office. And we are targeting every single community around the world, from online to offline, magazines, posters, millions of people will engage in Coney 2012. We are targeting 20 of the most influential people around the world to say, this is not a political issue. This is not an economic issue. This is a human issue. This is seven billion people around the planet waking up and realizing that we are de-tribalizing. We are denationalizing ourselves and we are saying, we are now going to be responsible to protect you. Wherever you are in the world, even if it is in the jungles, of Central Africa. Kony 2012 is the year that the world will wake up to the possibility of justice. The question is, will you join us? Will you stop at nothing to make sure that the world brings the world's worst and the world's first 
warlord to justice. Thank you.